Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually question number 40, not like the last video that I said was question number 40 on accident. But anyways, this question says, which of the following could be the graph of y equals 2 to the negative x? So assuming you don't have um, your parent functions memorized, a parent function is like uh, basically just what a general graph looks like. So what x squared looks like, what the absolute value of x looks like, all of those are called parent functions. And then anything you do to those is a transformation. So like x squared looks something like this. Um, and then if you have negative x squared, this flips it this way. So it looks like that. So that's an example of a parent function and its transformation. So in this case, the parent function would be y equals 2 to the x. And then this negative is going to do something to this graph. And we'll go over this after doing the x, y table. So let's start with x, y. So first one I always like to do is when x equals 0, what does y equal? When x is 0, this becomes 2 to the 0. Any number to the 0 is 1. So first thing I'm going to look for in all of my graphs is which graph could have a um, y-intercept of 1. So this one passes, this one passes, this one does not pass this one does not pass, and this one does not pass. So now we are really left with two options, A or B. So let's just pick one more value and see if we can figure it out from there. So when x equals 1, this becomes 2 to the negative 1. So 2 to the negative 1, and that's equal to 1 over 2. So that means when x is equal to 1, it should be less than this point. This was 1, it goes down to 1 half. So that tells us it's decreasing. So out of these two options from here, if we go over here, this goes up. So that means this could not be the option. That tells us that this here is really our only option. This one is out. So now going back to what I was talking about earlier, this is a parent function and this negative x flips this uh, over the y-axis. So this would be the graph of y equals 2 to the x. And then when you make this negative, it flips it this way. So everything over here goes over there. If you had something like this instead, y equals negative 2 to the x, that would flip it over the x. Um, but you don't need to know all of that right now. You basically just need to know that by picking just two x values, you can eliminate all of the other options and you're left with b. So hopefully this was helpful. If you had any trouble with this, I would recommend um, looking up exponential functions and transformation of functions, and that should help you get to the answer faster. But again, if you're confused at all, always default to the x, y table. I think this is like super underutilized because this will tell you uh, pretty much what the graph of anything looks like. Sometimes it's a bit of work, but you'll always be able to get the answer using this, assuming you don't make any uh, silly mistakes. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you need any additional help, have any questions, feedback, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.